But no, judging by these high-rise apartments and stuff, why is there an NFT? Why? You know what, give me a second, give me a second. Yeah, that's my NFT now, boy. Also, thanks for the hint. Let me know that it's Miami. Then you go for somewhere in downtown Miami, like there. Watch this. 1.3 kilometers. Perfect. Welcome back to another GeoGuessr video. In today's video, we are going to try and break my urban world record of 24,978 points. Will we be able to do it in a quick amount of time? What do we have here? Okay, it looks like it could be South America. Although we have got European number plates, both blue on both sides, which normally means it's either Italy or it's going to be France. Obviously this isn't France, but I don't think it's Italy either. These signs aren't typically found in Italy anyway. I think Albania and Croatia might use them as well, but this looks like it could be Albania. I think we're gonna have to lock in somewhere in Albania, and I kinda wanna go a bit near the mountainous regions maybe. So maybe somewhere like this, a small town possibly. <sighs> Oh, okay, it was this town in Albania, Elbasan. I haven't heard of that before. Didn't see any names of the hints, so, you know, that wasn't very helpful. But we've done pretty good. We've got the right country. Next one, this is clearly going to be Israel. We've got the yellow number plates, the Israeli language. What else does there need to be said? No chance of reading their language. It's completely different to most languages. Completely different characters, that's for fact. I do think I've seen that building before, and I think I know where I've seen it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This might be correct. I think it's Haifa. I think it's somewhere around here in Haifa. Let's find out. It's 590 metres. That was perfect. Thank God I just saw the top of that building. That was sick. That was very fast. That was too fast, in fact. Okay, next one. Quebec offices. This is clearly going to be the UK, though. We've got the yellow number plates on the back. The red brick, which is normally found in the UK. And these kind of tunnels, you sometimes find them in London. But they could also be in Manchester as well. We've got Premier Inn, like every other single town in the UK. Honestly, they're in the most non-tourist locations ever. Like, who's going to be on holiday in Reading or something? You know what I'm saying? This feels very southern. Obviously, I'm from the south of the UK, if you couldn't tell by my accent. But hold on, let me go back. Did I just see Preston on that sign? Preston and Bolton. Okay, this is going to be Manchester, I think, then. As we can see, Bolton is not too far. It's on the M61. And Preston's just further up north a bit. So we're going to be in Manchester. Maybe somewhere a bit more in the city centre of Manchester. Let's see. 90 metres! What the f did you see the way I just randomly clicked? I literally randomly clicked on the location. We got the correct building. Literally the correct building. Oh my god. Well, we can't really up our game from that because that was nuts. Uh next round though. Looks like we're going to be in Mexico or maybe Guatemala. You see these signs over here? It says Alto on it. Alto is only on the stop signs in Mexico and Guatemala. It looks very nice though, I must admit. Where is this going to be? Which city? I feel like this is going to be a major city. We've got some sort of church here. I feel like I've almost seen that building before. There we go. It says Guatemala right there. I did say it. You definitely heard me say Guatemala. Is it going to be Guatemala City? I feel like it's going to be this area of Guatemala anyway. So I'm going to go for Guatemala City. Just round there, just round there. Oh, okay. It wasn't a city. I was gonna have a hard time finding that location, no matter what I think. Because it was a small country, we still got a lot of points, even though it was 125 kilometers away. I enjoyed that location, certainly. Next one. Is this the final round? Yes, it is. I was gonna say this is America, but we got yellow number plates there. Yeah, this is probably America, surely. North America, at least. I don't know where you find no yellow number plates in America at all. I was thinking maybe North Dakota or somewhere, but maybe not. I think it's Denali State Bank. They've got mountains, so I'm thinking it's obviously going to be North or South Dakota or Montana. Montana. Ice Museum. Well, it can only be good for a certain amount of hours. Okay, it says Alaska. Oh, are we in Alaska? Actually, that would make sense because it did look northern, but it's way more north than I expected it to be. Holy crap. Fairbanks, Alaska. It looks like we could be in. Fairbanks. Oh, okay. It's right here. Right next to the North Pole. Holy crap. Okay, well, we were near these two bridges around here, so I think we're going to be there. Is that correct? 406 meters. Oh, I swear we was near those bridges, were we not? I mean, I guess we were, but I thought we were right on the entrance. That's still good, though. I'll happily take that. 24,386. Jeez. But damn, that's a lot of points. This next game is one of my favorite urban world games, and someone also stole my hair before the game started. Attempt number two of trying to break my record. Hopefully, this game goes well, because it would be cool if I could do it in two. First round, it says Alps in the distance. Colorado right there. So this looks like it could be Colorado. Which cities are actually in Colorado? I'm not too up to date with Colorado, you know. Got Denver, got Boulder. I'm going to go for probably just straight up uh, Denver. This looks like it's a main city, you know. The main city of Colorado. So let's just go around here. Maybe near the center. Near Capitol Hill. And yes, 290 meters. Oh my God. Got the right area of the city. Did you see that, people? The exact right area. Nearly 5,000 points as well. So, you know, pretty good. As always, starting off with 4,999 points. But this second one also looks like it could be America as well. Now, I'm wondering which part of America this is going to be. Because in some way, it looks like it could be Jacksonville in America. Which uh, could be the case. I don't know why. I just get that feeling. Jacksonville. Oh, Jacksonville is very north of Florida. Okay. For some reason, I was thinking it was in like Tennessee. But it's not. 
not. Does it mean or does this look a bit too cold to be Florida? I mean, I guess it's northern Florida, which doesn't get the extreme tropical heat like the south of Florida. So it does make sense that it could be Jacksonville. Let's go for the downtown area, which is just here. Let's pray to God that it's the correct location. Come on, load. Why is my internet so bad today? There we go. Another 281 meters once again. That is 24,999 points in a row. What is going on? I'm getting the right area every time. There's tall buildings. Just go for downtown. That's all i got to say. This one isn't going to be America, though. This one looks like it could be Europe. That's a bit blue on the side of the number plate there. Now, which part of Europe this is going to be? This is going to be like Central Eastern Europe, I think. But, you know, it could be a very built-up area. Okay, let's have a little bit of Russia in there. So, it could be Bulgaria. I think this is either going to be Bulgaria or Serbia. Now that I think about it, I think it might be Serbia. Now, both countries are very similar, but I also feel like Serbia is a bit more colder than Bulgaria is, which this country does look a bit colder. What I see over here is normally found in Croatia, but I think it also can be found in Serbia and not so much Bulgaria. I don't think they use that so much. City? Okay, we've actually found the correct city here. Leskovo. Uh, I did not pronounce that correctly, but I imagine that's going to be in Serbia, correct? Now, I found this town in Serbia called Lestovac. Now, I can't remember if that was the name we saw of the city on the sign, but I think it might have been, or it was very similar at least. But I did see a bridge running over like a river, so I think it might be this city, as it does have a river as well. So, I'm going to go for somewhere in this city over here. Please be correct. It was correct. Yes, I got the right name. Wrong side of the city, as it was more in the suburbs up north, but I mean, it's still, it's still pretty good. We can't expect it to be perfect like the other two rounds. Next one, we got American sign, so I'm thinking this is, could be America, but it says Tuxin here. Tuxin might be a city in Arizona, I think it could be. Let's go down to Arizona and let's see. Tuxin is just down south of Phoenix, right here. We're going to be in this city, maybe around here. Let's see. Okay, 2.6 kilometers. Yes, I mean, I mean, I knew it was going to be that city. It was pretty obvious, but it was actually closer to downtown. I should have stuck to my normal tactic and just went to downtown. But then again, I didn't see any skyscrapers. So, you know, maybe it's not one of those cities with skyscrapers. Who knows? Next one. Is this the final round we're going on to? Five out of five. Yes, it is. And it looks like we're going to be in Europe once again. You see the back of these signs. They are orange, I think. Anyway, I'm colorblind, which is normally found in Belgium. So, yeah, this is going to be Belgium. We've got these sort of signs. They look similar to the French ones, but they're not French. Um, Port Kennedy. So, we're near a port. We've got Antwerp that's kind of connected to the sea, as we can see. It goes out. So, ports around here. There's a lot of ports. See, I keep seeing this name, Media Sites. Now, I'm thinking that might be a sub-region of a city. Or maybe it's just a town on its own. Maybe Ghent as well. We can see that has a port as well. So, it could be here. No, I can't see the name in any of those cities. So, that does not help. It says Liege there. Where is Liege? Is that a place? Oh, it's down here. Okay, that makes sense. They do have a river. Maybe if we can find that shopping center, we can find the actual location. Here's that shopping center we saw. So we're going to be somewhere on one of these roads, like here maybe. Let's see. Oh, oh that was close. But it was actually just down the road and we got 5,000 points because of it. That is the best way to end that game. Jeez, that was very good. Okay, let's view the summary. 24,983. But let's see if I've broken my record. I think we have. There we go, 24,983 in 18 minutes. We broke it. Well, that's going to be it for today's GeoGuessr video. If you did enjoy the video, then feel free to leave a like and maybe subscribe as we are super, super, super close to 100,000 subscribers. But thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.